It turned out to be a gorgeous day for the 2016 Girls State track meet from the house that Tony Romo built. The best of the best going for the coveted state championship. And we had several girls from our area in the hunt. In the early events, Kelsey Cleary in the 3,200 meter. She showed out well for Coach Volan, busting her tail to third in her heat. Came up just short of a personal best, but 13 out of 28 is pretty darn good. To the high jump we go, two area girls in this one in Class 1A, Laura Beckett. The sophomore from Central A&M with a stellar showing. Look, she's five foot three, and after clearing earlier jumps, she clears five foot four. Yeah, she jumped over her height and took third in state. Um, it's a lot of box drills and squats, pretty much. Um, I felt pretty good at the beginning, and just like the adrenaline of being at state really contributed. We stay in the 1A high jump. St. Teresa freshman jumper Daylin Schweitzer. She was a star in junior high in this event, and she keeps it going. Daylin took the top spot in Class 1A jumping 5 foot 6. Good enough for the gold. Um, well, I was really nervous. I was going to be happy if I got at least 7th, but I'm really happy I got 1st. Well, we had gotten to 5-4, and I was the only one who hadn't missed yet, and so I was, at that point I was thinking, well, maybe I have a chance. Over to the Class 1A pole vault, Central A&M's Emma Meyer. She made a splash as a transfer on the basketball squad, and yeah, she did it in the vault too. She was able to vault 11 feet on the day, good enough for 3rd place for Coach Rourke and the Raiders. Um, freshman year didn't go as well as I wanted to do, and then sophomore year went, I got sixth place, and then shooting up again three more places, it's a great feeling because third place in the entire 1A state, and that's pretty good, and I didn't get what I was shooting for, but third is still what, I'm still happy about it, so. Same event, different class, 2A that is, Clinton and Mount Zion represented by two friends, Betsy Lovett and Josephine Held. Love it. Third place winner last year goes up to 11-6 in the vault this year. Good enough for fourth place in the event. She is one heck of a competitor. Held. She repped the MTZ very well. She vaulted 11-3 last year. She blew past that, tying a PR with a 12-foot vault, then setting a new PR with a 12-foot 3 vault. Good enough for second place in state. Okay, I was not expecting that at all. You know, I just came out here and I did what I knew how to do, and apparently that was good enough today. 12 was tying my PR, and then 12-3 was a new PR, so I was so overwhelmed, I didn't even know what to do. Last field event I could get to was the discus. Mika Maples and two-time defending state champion Katie Young. Maples, who now holds the Central A&M school record in the discus, adds more hardware to her repertoire with a third-place finish in the discus. Young? Well, she already broke the record in the shot put, meaning she broke the 1A, 2A, and 3A record with a 51-foot toss. Yeah, I missed that one. She follows it up with a sweep, taking a shit... She follows it up with a sweep, taking the top spot in the discus with a 155-foot toss. I realized that most of my friends that made it in the finals with me are seniors. So I realized this is our last meet together. And like, they were throwing really well, so it was really nice. So during discus, I tried to do my best as well. So I hit 155, and that was, that was a good throw. It wasn't quite what I wanted, but it was a good throw. Class 1A 100 meter dash, Meridian's Isabella Newingham and Warren's Berlathams Taylor George. The race was fast. Closing it out, George just stays ahead of Newingham and takes third place in the event. Newingham finishes fourth, but it was a best for her. But Taylor George, she was pleased. I felt really good, actually. I was kind of nervous going in because all the times were so close, but it turned out pretty well in the end. I was just shooting for making it to the finals, actually, so I'm happy with third place. I, that's really exciting for me, being a junior and me not making it last year, so it's a big accomplishment, and I've worked really hard to get there. So. St. Teresa's Lauren Avelti in the 800. She was around the top pretty much all of the race, and she brings it home for fourth place for Coach Volan. Man, she ran hard. In the relay event, St. Teresa and Warrensburg Latham finished fourth and fifth, respectively, in the four by two hundred. In the four by one hundred, overall, Warrensburg Latham took the third place spot. St. Teresa took fifth, and Central A&M finished eighth in state as a team.